Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we got a 2016 Jeep Cherokee with a 2.4 liter and we're gonna be replacing a oil pressure switch. So let's get to it. So the location of this guys is if you guys are in the engine bay is basically the passenger side. If you look you know, down here through this tube, uh, you could probably access it through the top. It's right by the water pump. However, I'm gonna try to lift the car and see if I could gain access through the bottom a little bit easier. So give me a second guys, I'll be back with you. Okay guys, I'm back. So I do believe I can gain access to it underneath the car. Now where we're at basically is the passenger side towards the dashboard area if you're we're inside the car. So it looks like we're gonna have to take this cover off. It's a uh, 10 millimeters that hold it into place. If uh, the camera can pick that up, let me zoom you guys out. So essentially what we're gonna wanna do is remove these 10 millimeter bolts off and basically remove this cover. So let me go ahead and remove that. Okay guys, so I went ahead and I put the camera up there. Now essentially we're right above the axle area. Let me zoom you guys out. So if you're underneath the car essentially, you're gonna wanna basically come up through here and it's a very tight fit guys. Sorry, cause this might not be the best, but essentially once you make it up there, that is your connector and there's your sensor right there. It has a red locking tab. You gotta disconnect the lock to get to it. Now I can't physically do this with the camera in the way. So I'm just gonna basically time lapse of me removing it so you guys can see how I do it. Okay guys, so I kind of had to improvise this a little bit. Initially, I was thinking I could get it through here, but what wind up working the best was basically coming in through the wheel. Now essentially, I turned my passenger front wheel to the side and basically what I did was got in through, let me get you guys up there, it'd be a little difficult, but essentially right there, Okay guys, so what I wound up doing was I had to use a pick to get that red lock connector off. It was very difficult, so I basically just caught the edge of it and basically pulled it out and that did the trick. Okay guys, so I got my connector off. As you guys can see, that thing was a real fight. Now basically I gotta remove my sensor. So what I'm gonna do is take a 27 millimeter Go in through the wheel well here, what I'm thinking is going to be the best, and go ahead and take off the sensor. I'm going to go ahead and time lapse that for you. So I'm using my socket to remove the sensor here, guys, and be careful when you get it off, as you'll see the oil starts dripping out of it. Um, you don't want to get that on your face. I did get a little bit on me. It was not very pleasant, so just be careful. Uh, and then what I'm doing here is basically once I have it removed, I'm installing the new sensor. Um, it was fairly easy. So initially when I removed the old switch, what I used was this 27 millimeter impact. Now this worked great to remove it, but it was kind of hanging up. I don't know if you guys can kind of see that silver mark on there. Uh, essentially what was happening is there was something interfering. So this was very difficult to move, mainly because it's so thick. So what I opted to do instead is I actually have a uh, socket sensor, which is made to remove oil pressure switches. And essentially, it looks similar, but if you notice, it's much thinner on the walls. So basically this was able to get in there and without making any contact, I was able to spin it off and put it on. So if you're gonna do this job, guys, I recommend getting one of these oil pressure sockets. It'll definitely help you out. Just wanted to mention that. All right, guys, so we are essentially done. Uh, what I did in the last time lapse there was just basically put up the cover again, clean up my area and blow it dry, make sure that there's no oil anywhere. A little bit of oil did come out, nothing major, but you just wanna be mindful. Also, don't be underneath it because it will get on your face. Ask me how I know, I got some all over my nose, so just be careful with that, guys. So with that said, that's essentially how you do a oil pressure switch on a 2016 Jeep Cherokee. Um, I know this wasn't very detailed, guys. It was just a very hard angle to try to, you know, get into. But at least, you know, I got the basics in there so you guys can kind of do it. All right, guys. So that's pretty much how you replace an oil pressure switch. Now, this isn't just necessarily for a Jeep. Uh, every single oil pressure switch, you know, on most cars nowadays is essentially this type of style. There will be some variations on the connectors and things of that sort. But essentially, this is what an oil pressure switch is almost every single time. Uh, so with that said guys if you guys like the content please comment like and subscribe uh, share with your friends and family that way my channel can grow and I can make even better content for you guys and what I'm doing now so with that said 
I uh, hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you guys on the next prayer.